In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a timed event in your user interface. So to do that, we're going to use a component from our component exchange. If you do a search here for time, one of the components that you would find is a timed event sample component. We're going to install it into our application. And once the component is installed, you would find it in your component exchange or component palette over here. Here's the time event. So we can bring it into our page. For example, we can put it up here at the top. It's not going to have any actual visual representation when we run it. But this component has a property called time interval. So we can set this to indicate how many seconds we want between the actions. In our case, it's going to be seven seconds, for example. And then there's another property here, which is throttling options. Um, I'm going to keep this as empty right now, but you can see the values that can be placed here. And then in the event, we can add a new event here. What's going to happen when we expire, when the timer expired? Okay. So in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the data in the table by doing a fire data provider event and refreshing my SDP. This is going to happen every seven seconds in our case, based on what we have here. Okay. If you want to learn more about the component, just click on it and you get the full documentation over here of how to use it, plus examples and more advanced functionality. But for now, we can just run our little page and see the behavior happening over here. So we got the initial set of data. We can count to seven, three, four, five, and you can see here's a refresh that happened. Again, if you want another seven seconds, you're going to see another refresh happening of the data here. This, by the way, means that if someone would go over to our data over here in the back end and would update some data over here, for example, if we would um, take and do a query here to find um id that is one to one okay and we're going to update these records for example and we're going to edit it so update the operating system to 11 instead of 10 and click save okay if we now switch back to our ui one to one now has 11 over here after the refresh so that's the time event